How to send PKM files from PokeSave onto a DS without an action replay. Step 1. Download send PKM here. Step 2. Download and install Python at the link. Now, go on and drag a PKM file onto send PKM dot py. I'm going to copy a downloaded PKM file from a folder, for example. I'm going to paste it and drag it. If you're on a slow computer, it might take some time. For example, it is taking a while on my old PC in my room, for example. Be sure to allow Windows Firewall If you get an error message, then try it again. For example, I have an error here. Because it couldn't connect, because Windows Firewall is blocking it, I have to start the program again. If an IP address appears, then you are good to go. Because then you can now do the GPS setup on the DS. Now on the DS, I am going to go to the game and start it. I'm going to then scroll down to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection settings, and I'm going to change the settings for my current connection. Under DNS, I'm going to change it from auto obtain to no and the primary DNS to the IP address I was given by the program. Now talk to the GTS lady, you might have to save a lot of data, depending on your game, but when it's done, you'll be in the GTS. Wait for it. Wait for it to connect. It shall be connecting to Wi-Fi. It might take a little longer than usual, but that's normal. Now I'm in the GTS, and it's saying, checking GTS status. It's going to take a while, so be patient. If you get the PKM 
.mem file you sent through GTS, then you've done it correctly. However, if you want to use the real GTS again, you will need to change the DNS settings from auto obtain to your real DNS. I mean, auto obtain to yes. After you do that, then you can now, then you can now play on GTS again just like usual.